Welcome to the Lisbon vlog. We just arrived at our Airbnb and I thought I would give you a quick room tour. It is very cute. Very small but very cute. When you enter the Airbnb to the left we have a fridge here. There's actually so much space because in these small hotel fridges you can barely fit two big water bottles. Very nice. We even have a microwave here and then we have this desk sitting area which I think is so cute and then here oh my gosh the lighting is awful in the back look at that cute decor here we have a little couch mirror the bed where we still need some bedding and a little side lamp side tish thingy kitchen very cute and then we have the bathroom we even have a washing machine here a little sink this little thing here toilet and the shower we're very tired but we still want to see a few things so we're gonna get changed because honestly i feel disgusting and i mean the top is cute but i'm not sure should i keep it i am should i just change the trousers or put on a dress i don't know <laughs> for today is that we're going to Sintra where we're gonna see the Pena, Pena, I don't know, palace and the Quinta de Regalero palace. Apparently it's very cold there. This is the outfit. We're not gonna go grab some breakfast and then we're gonna go there with the Uber because it is so much quicker than with the public transportation. <laughs> We finally made it to the Pena Palace, or actually the park. It took us about two hours. I think we left around 11 from Lisbon. We drove with the Uber and from the train station we got hop on hop off bus tickets, which we didn't know so you can go in between all the castles in Sintra with the bus. And now we drove up to the castle for about 30 minutes. 30 minutes because there was so much traffic. We're wandering around in like the deepest forest trying to get to the next castle and then we suddenly found this. Is it scary? It's kind of scary. It looks like the beginning of a horror movie. I kind of want to go inside but <laughs> it's like this when you watch a horror movie and you're like why would someone ever do this? I kind of get it. Do you want to come to the No. I'm He's saying no. Do you not send me by? I'm not going to send you by. 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 Oh my gosh, you can really go inside. Okay, it gets dark very quickly. We don't want to do that. We don't want to do that. <laughs>
morning. Yesterday, we wanted to go to this other castle. I think I also mentioned it in a vlog. We were actually only at the Pena Palace. Not just the palace itself, but there's like a huge park. And we were walking around there for hours. And it was late in the afternoon. We weren't sure if we wanted to get into the other castle. Then we decided not to go, save the money, go home, watch... The soccer game. <laughs> then we went out for dinner, which was so nice. We were at this super, super cozy restaurant and had a great view. The food was amazing. And then we went for a sangria and that was pretty much it for yesterday. We're now gonna go out. We wanna go to a grocery store. I always need to go into grocery store. Like grocery stores in other countries are so fun. I need some makeup remover and I need some blush. And I was Googling drugstores in Lisbon and I couldn't find any. And I was like so confused. I was like, why is there only like a pharmacy? Turns out they don't really have drugstores here, which is which is so weird. Apparently they have all of that stuff at the supermarket, so we will see. And then we wanna grab like a croissant or something like breakfasty, have a coffee, very chill. Because later in the day we're going to we're going to see Olivia Rodrigo, which is actually the reason we're here. We're gonna go to the Guts World Tour and I, I'm so excited. It's also why I'm not wearing makeup because I was like, I don't want to do my makeup twice. So I'm just gonna go like that. What I forgot because I started the sentence earlier. I bought a waterproof mascara for the Olivia Rodrigo concert because I wanted to test it for the Eras tour. So that's why I also want to go to the supermarket to see if they have an oil-based makeup remover. <laughs> the grocery store it is it is incredibly hot today the supermarket wasn't that exciting like i think it was very typical european pretty similar to austria i would say it was kind of like a little or an aldis or nothing special but yesterday we went for breakfast and they had a croissant with cottage cheese and pumpkin jam i do love everything pumpkin okay i love my pumpkin spice latte i i love everything pumpkin flavored. Apparently pumpkin jam is something very normal here. We don't have that in Austria. So we got a few actually. We got this one, this one, and this one. <laughs> Then we got these, what are these called? Like these jellies. I think we saw a recipe uh, somewhere where you could make a dessert with this jelly and this is like with zero calories and we got them in blueberry and strawberry flavor. And then <laughs> something very, very random is we got a chewing gum and this is cinnamon flavored. I've never seen a chewing gum with a cinnamon flavor, so <laughs> very exciting. And then we got a few a few drinks, free drinks, for the concert. So when we chill in front of the arena, then we have a little bit to drink. We got this here, which is sparkling cider. This one is apple, and then we also have blackberry. Apparently we also have it in Austria. I don't know, I've never had one of these. That's what we got from the grocery store. I'm not gonna take a shower and then I'm gonna get ready. <laughs> For the guts tour. It's so weird to say that because I was waiting for this moment for, for months, for months, and now it's finally here. I'm very excited. I am, I'm very excited. It is the next day. I am gonna give you a concert update later on because we wanna go for breakfast now and we wanna see a few more spots and maybe go with the boat to another side. There's this restaurant and you have an amazing view and you can see the sunset so that would be the plan for today. <music> What do you have? It's a classic. Damn, that looks refreshing. It is because it's good. Yes. Yes.
if you can hear the shower noises. It is late in the evening, it's past midnight, and I thought I would update you a little bit. On the day today, we woke up late and then we went to this amazing brunch spot, which was called Augusto. And there are two locations from this brunch spot. One is more in this old town where we are, in Alfama, and the other one is a little bit further away. In Alfama, there is always a queue because it is so small. So we went to the other place today because we wanted to go to this area anyways. We immediately got a table. We got this toasted sourdough bread and they had homemade cream cheese. I have never had in my entire life homemade cream cheese. It was so good. And then it was combined with pumpkin jam. Like this combination of cream cheese and pumpkin jam. I'm obsessed with this. I've never heard of it before. I, I love it. I love it so much. And we also had this like, we had some Portu Portuguese cheeses and hams. And oh my god, it was it was so good. I loved it so much. And they had so many different coffees like caramel and peanut. And they had like a strawberry iced matcha. It was so hard to decide what I wanted. They even had a coffee with the pastel de nata as ice cream in the coffee. Then we wanted to go to the monastery of St. Jerome, I think it's called. It turns out that Monday in Lisbon or in Portugal is their Sunday. <laughs> so things are usually closed, which um, our Airbnb host told us that actually. So when you look up the Bellum Tower, it actually says that it's closed on Monday, but when you look up the monastery of St. Jerome, it is open. So the open hours are not correct. And then we went to this monument of discoveries or something, and I, I loved it. <laughs> it was so pretty. It was located at the sea and it was very windy. You could kind of like walk there and there were like small little shops with very unique jewelry and clothes and all sorts of stuff. I even tried a skirt like they didn't even have any dressing rooms just randomly there. I was putting it over my pants. Oh I actually got something from there. Is that cute? I got this kind of like makeup bag, toiletry bag. I don't want to unpack it now because she packed it so beautifully, but we got magnets for everyone we have at home. And then we got this little bird here, which we got for our own fridge because it is it is so cute. Then we walked this way along. We had a sangria on the way and then we went to the Bellum Tower, which was closed, but you could take photos like from the outside. I was saying the entire time because it was so hot today, I was like, it would be so nice if there would be a little beach. And in front of the Ballon Tower, you can literally go inside with your feet. I felt so free just being in the sand and going into the water, like not caring about my shoes afterwards. The water was cold, like like cold cold i love i just loved going inside and just chilling there and it, it was the best part I, I loved it so much today like i love being by the sea and then we went on the boat and we drove to the other side like to another island because apparently this is the only spot where you can see the sunset and the bridge oh before that we went to the Met museum we just went for a coffee just for the view which was amazing because you see the entire april 25 bridge and then we went with the boat to the other side because apparently this is the only spot where you can see the sunset and we also had like some sort of hope that we could get a table at this very famous restaurant which is called Pont to final well we were in the queue and it wasn't that bad and then the guy was coming up to us and he was like this is the queue for the bar if you want to queue for the restaurant you have to go up the stairs and there were like i don't know 15 20 people i have no idea how many people but we're like uh uh no way we're gonna wait here because when you wait at the stairs you can't even see the sunset or anything so we're like okay we we don't need to eat here and there's a second restaurant which i had no idea about because you always read about the other one so if you want to go there either go earlier or reserve a table or go to the other restaurant we just sat on the wall and watched the sunset which was absolutely beautiful i highly recommend even if you don't want to eat in any of the restaurants and afterwards because it was already very very late we still wanted to eat something we went to the time out market which i read about it and we kind of wanted to visit it but it wasn't like super huge on our list but it's open until midnight so we were like okay let's just eat something there this is like a big hall like a huge hall with many different restaurants combined in one big hall i know that there are street food festivals like on the street for a temporary time but this is like all year round they're open from 10 a.m until midnight which is crazy and you just have this huge hall and you can eat pizza or you can eat asian food or you can eat all of the seafood that they had they have donuts they have pastel donata of course and all of these different things just in one big 
hall. It was quite crowded, but it was so cozy at the same time. I just, I just loved the whole concept of it. I've never seen anything like it, and I was just, I was so glad that we visited it. It was, it was so, so, so worth it. We had some pad thai, which wasn't the best. It was good, but not the best. Um, and then we um, went to this crushed donut, which I, which I read about before. Grabbed one to go because we were so full, so we're gonna eat it tomorrow. And we had some pastel donata now. I'm obsessed with pastel donata. I love how tiny it is and it's like 150. If we had that at home, like 150, I, I would grab it literally every day and have it with my coffee in the afternoon because it's like the perfect small dessert. <laughs> I need to go to sleep now because I want to wake up a little bit earlier tomorrow because we woke up so late today. We still want to enjoy our morning. I'm gonna talk to you tomorrow. Good morning, it is the last day. We woke up a little bit later than planned. We wanted to see the sunrise today, but we went to bed way too late, so we decided to skip it, which is actually, I think it was not even that bad because it is super cloudy today. So the plan for today is, because we only have like, I think four hours until we need to go to the airport, we're gonna go to the flea market, which is very famous flea market here. I don't know, just walk around a little bit, get a coffee, get a few more pastel donatas. The weather is pretty nice today. I I think it's not too hot. I can finally wear this outfit, which I actually plan on wearing for Sintra. I'm not sure if I like it that much, but this is the only long trouser that I have left that I can wear. That's the outfit, and we're gonna go now. Mm -hmm. 